at Swakup Munt Bernard Kukuri, the Judiciary's Executive Director, informed the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Legal Affairs about the introduction of virtual courts. We, we have considerations and we discuss also with the, under the lower court administration with uh, the possibility of that virtual court also to be considered in the lower courts. Uh, the, 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 the maximum benefits to the state will be accrued in the sense that you have somebody at Mororani uh, uh, police uh, or correctional facility there who are in custody, who were caught on the Kavango West court at Kahenge. Mm, yes. Now you drive all the way through Rundu and go there to be postponed to come back again. How ready are you? How, how do you have all the means, you know, in terms of the finances now? if we move because what i have seen last week in zimbabwe we were at chinui court and they are all virtual it's a multi-purpose center the high court the magistrates court the lower court the everything with offices is in that court and if you look at it it costs maybe billions of millions to invest in that building. From what I have seen, I got a bit worried when you spoke about uh, uh, we want to have an elect, you know, a virtual court. In his response, Kukuri indicated that Namibia and Zimbabwe have signed a memorandum of agreement to allow the two countries to assist each other. Start live in Zimbabwe. They have written their own program in software to circumvent yeah. that star leaf debacle. Yeah. So we said, ah, no, we, uh, colleagues give us this tool. Ah, no. Yeah, yeah. So we signed the MOU. The ED says the current annual budget is not adequate as $1.5 billion is needed to reduce the backlog of court cases. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Swakopmund.